Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream role. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. If you want to overcome this obstacle of attaining this uh, SQL round, I can explain it. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining it all the various questions asked in top companies which are available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below. In addition to that, I have also segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question. All the premium level subscription questions of LeetCode as premium playlist and I have ordered all the difficulty questions all type of that and uh, premium and non-premium into one single playlist ordered by the sequence number which is given in the lead code platform let's see the question which i'm trying to solve today it is question number 1098 unpopular books let's see the question okay they have given a book where it is a uh, book id order id is the primary key of this people book id okay each book ID is there. What is the name of the book and where it is available from? Okay. Similarly, how many orders a book has made? They are also given that one. Okay. Write an SQL query to report the books that have been sold in less than 10 copies in the last year. Okay. Excluding books that have been available for less than one month from today. Assume today is. 2019-0623 okay let's understand this table first They are saying, assume today's date is what? 2019-0613. They are asking, last one year means if today is 0623, last year will be what? 2018-0623. They are saying, in this period number of books which are sold less than 10 okay that is the first condition they are saying less than 10 copies which are sold in the last year if today is this one then the last year will be 2018 623 and also one more condition remove the books which are available from last one month only you see the books are released here if you see book name when it is released and the books which are sold from they're saying from the last month if today's uh, this thing last month will be what 2019 they are saying remove the uh, things which are there before that only okay so we need to keep only things which are there before this date first condition and the purchase of each book between this range should be less than 10 okay if you see this table how many books are there from 2019 before 2009-05-23 see this is 2010 it is there 12 it is there 19 it is there but if you see it is from 2019-06-10 but it is not there before so this will be excluded because it should be there before this date 2019-05-23 similarly this is also this is also there not there okay now let's see this book id how many of them are sold in this range okay let's see the first thing Kalila and Demna first one book ID how many are there one two things are there okay how many are sold see in which date dispatch range 
2018 726 okay it is this range in this range only range is also matching this is also range matching okay how many book it sold 3 28 letters book id 2 how many are there book id 2 itself it's not there so it means what 0 okay and what else is there hunger games 5 How many rows are there such that it is there? 2019-06-23-2018-06-23 They are both outside this range. So this is also having 0. So that is why these three things have been shown in the output. First thing what we need to do? We need to filter available date such that it is less than this date. First condition. After that we need to combine these two tables. Okay. We will be doing left join because we want matching things and non-matching things and for each book ID we will be calculating the quantity of things such that they are in this range. Let's take this one. Let's select uh, from the books table. books where available from should be less than if you see this is the first condition all the available names should be less than this 2019 0523 okay what we want let's say all for example If you see only one two five are matching from this condition great now what we want we need to check all these uh, book IDs which are there from this range let's take one more table select from table where dispatch date should be greater than which date to which date 2018-6-13 let's keep equal to 2018-0623 and dispatch date equal to okay now we got all the rows let's call this table with CT2 for example and let's see what are the rows which are there here okay the table should be orders So for example orders ID what's happening let's comment it first Okay, let's keep asterisk. Okay, we got all the dates which are matching this condition. But what we want for each book, what is the quantity? Group by book ID. Okay. 
we want book id comma sum of quantity let's say some st Here you can see what is the summation of 1, 3 and why are we getting 4? Okay, we are getting this book IDs and everything where it is matching this condition. Great. If you see from this table, only 1, 3, 4 has this uh, quantity 3, 8, 11. Among them, whom are having less than 10, 1 and 3. So I will filter by having sum of quantity less than 10. Okay, we got 113 or we can directly run through this because we have filtered in having. Okay, 1 and 3. So what we want here, these are the only conditions which are matching, right? Okay, now we have with first table which are having only that uh, matching conditions and we are having this condition which is matching this one. Now what I will do, let's say, uh, let's remove this. So we have the second thing where we are filtering for this date range and we are filtering for this condition. Now I will take select from Let's call this one as some CT. This table one as this one. Now well, what I will do is select uh, all from books. join T1 as B sorry we want matching and not matching things also left to join uh, I think I made some mistake. Yeah, we can do that on select all from books left to join TV such that a dot ID should be equal to yeah, a dot book id should be equal to b dot book id
okay and also where available from should be less than or equal to 2019-0523 okay we want which rows a dot book id comma b dot name sorry a dot name okay let's submit it okay there is showing some answer output what it's showing then book dot id name what is the mistake i'm doing do it again okay guys I have done some modifications if you see what I have done is I have taken book ID and some quantity such that I have joined these two tables and within this range I calculated for each book what is the sum of uh, things which are there let's see this one Uh, I will I will explain this later. Okay, I need to remove this comma. Okay, if you see, T one is. T1 is number of books, if you see it, number of books which are sold. ST stands for, if you see, I have joined these two tables left to join and for each table within this range, what is the sum of products they are sold? That is T1. I have done that and after that what I have done is, this T1 table, okay, let's keep all the rows. Okay, if you see, now I join these two tables. This is the first table. Second table here stands for if they're matching. See, book ID 1 has 3 sales, book ID 2 has null sales, book ID 3 has 8, 11. So, what it should be there? Either it should be 10 means null means here 0 books are sold. So, I'm keeping. Less than 10 and less than null. So all the books which are 11 book is there 5 it is gone but we want only from dates which are there from one month before so I am keeping one more condition this one
but they want what yeah it got filtered but we want only book id and book name so book id yes our solution has been successfully accepted by the platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are preparing for data analyst and data scientist interview thanks this is ml prasad signing off